Margaret, just what is consultative selling? Well Nigel, it's about understanding your customers' needs and looking for solutions to their business needs in a comfortable, relaxed manner rather than being pushy. Why should I use consultative selling? Quite simply, by asking intelligent questions, listening and relating your product's capabilities to your customers' needs they will make a purchase decision in your favor. Is consultative selling always appropriate? Yes and no. Yes, if you are selling a high-value B2B product or services. No if you are selling a low-value B2C item. So consultative selling will be perfect for selling my new four trucks to a major mining company. Can you explain what the stages of consultative selling are? Well Nigel, the four stages of consultative selling which involve research, the investigation, the solution and the commitment. What does research stage involve? Well the research stage involves who would want to buy your product and why. Use the internet to profile your customer and competitors and get that first appointment. How about the investigation stage? The investigation stage is the heart of the consultative process. The investigation requires you to ask problem questions and affect questions to uncover your customer's needs. Right I understand. What does the solution stage involve? The solution stage involves having meeting your customer's objections, the customer states a desire for a solution. You must demonstrate how your product meets their need. Can you explain the last stage the commitment? The commitment stage might involve asking for an order or it might mean furthering the sale until the customer is ready. Well, thanks Margaret for explaining the four stages of consultative selling. I am most interested and would love to attend your workshop next month. My pleasure Nigel look forward to seeing you at the B2B whiteboard workshop to explain in more detail the art of consultative selling in more detail.